Hydronephrosis is a common condition affecting the urinary tract. Urinary tract consists of the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and the urethra. Ureteropelvic junction is the site where the kidneys and the ureters join. Ureterovesical junction is the site where the bladder and the ureters join. Hydronephrosis is defined as distension of renal calluses and pelvis with urine as a result of urine outflow obstruction. Hydroureter is defined as distension of the ureter with urine due to obstruction. In this video, I will specifically discuss about the treatment of hydronephrosis. For a more detailed lecture on this topic, you can watch my previous video on hydronephrosis, link is in the description below. The specific treatment of hydronephrosis depends on the underlying cause. In general, treatment can be divided into medical care and surgical care. Medical care includes pain control with analgesics and infection prevention with antibiotics. Any sign of infection, bilateral hydronephrosis or hydronephrosis in a patient with a single kidney should warrant urgent intervention. If the obstruction is in the lower urinary tract, such as the bladder neck or urethra, urethral catheterization may be done. However, it is important to note that pathology itself may complicate the insertion of urinary catheter. For example, if there is a urethral stricture, catheterization may be difficult to perform. If urethral catheterization is failed, suprapubic catheterization may be indicated. Ureteral stenting is used to bypass the obstruction and dilate the ureter, which permits the urinary outflow. If stenting is failed, percutaneous nephrostomy may be indicated. All these options are for the temporary relief of the obstruction. As the definitive treatment option, you should always correct the underlying cause.